All right, guys, we're in a 2004 Dodge SLT 3500 four door, one ton, four by four with the Cummins turbo diesel. And I am coming back from Pensacola, Florida. We've got a full load on. You can see the gauges. We are, uh, you can see the uh, GPS. We have 538 miles to go before we get back to Grand Rapids. And it's, it's a cool truck. I've went 563 miles with this truck, not a problem. Okay. Running like a top, smooth as can be. Got a little full load on. I got a chopper in the back and a car on a car trailer. So, nice truck. It's got 300,000 miles on it, but you'd never know it. Very well taken care of. The SLT, it's what do you say about the Cummins turbo diesel? I'm just cruising down the road, getting great gas mileage. I cannot believe it, it's crazy. Good oil pressure. It's running right around 200 degrees the whole time from Pensacola. And I'm uh, 115 miles from Louisville, Kentucky. So, you don't get a chance to always see the vehicles running. But uh, we'll do an outside video and add this to it. Good luck. May the best man win. It's a sweet truck. All right, guys. We got a 2004 Dodge SLT 3500. Cummins turbo diesel intercooled one ton four door beautiful truck this is a 100% rust free truck you will not find one like this an 04 especially spent 99.9% .9 of its life in Alabama and the other 0.01% in Georgia. The tires are 90%. Spare is 95 to 100%. The flaws on this truck will be shown to you. There's a dent in the bumper right there. It has a 6 plus inch screen DVD player that has Bluetooth built into the dash. Loaded with everything you can think of. It's an SLT. The motor is so clean you could eat off of it. The headlights, we just replaced the headlights. Uh, they were all foggy and yellow, so we put some new ones in there and they look really good. Like I said, the tires are phenomenal. They're Yokohamas, so they're not junk. I just drove this truck over a thousand miles non-stop fully loaded with the trailer and a big Cadillac on the back and a motorcycle in the back of it at the same time from Florida to Michigan 300,000 miles on it and as you know this is a uh, nothing to a truck like this four by four of course tan cashmere type colored interior the windows are all tinted let's get back a little bit here this is a phenomenal truck like I said it's 100% rust free it's been had one decent paint job on it and they did a nice job Not a lot to say other than it's close to perfect. It's got a few dents and scratches in it, which is normal. 
brakes perfect it has the flip a ball or the turnover ball gooseneck hitch The, we, we did the bed liner, paint on bed liner in it. I'll crawl under the truck here in a minute. Let me go through the interior real quick. The only issues with this truck, like I said, I'm going to show you the issues on it. The back window here has some glazing on the tinning. And it comes off, as you see. It's going to take a little elbow grease. It comes right off, but you're just going to have to get in there and clean it off. The headliner is beautiful on it. The door panels are beautiful. Let's look at these. Uh, like I said, the only red on this truck is from the Georgia and Alabama clay. <laughs> the rocker panels are solid. The very clean truck. One hundred percent rust free. Could still use some more cleaning. Power seats. Has the uh, electric brake, needs a bolt right there. 4x4 four four works great. There's the touchscreen DVD player. Remote control. Of course, as you know, the Dodge, the big uh, center console, light advisors, Bluetooth. Somebody put a nice dash pad up here so your stuff doesn't slide all over the place. Let's fire it up and see what we got here. It's not used to it doing well for being in Michigan, that's for darn sure. Just put a brand new can on air filter in it. Very heavy duty. Very big and heavy duty. It should really give it a lot more power. And I can't believe, I can't imagine the truck with more power than this thing. Well, I was going through the Georgia or Kentucky mountains there with the trailer fully loaded. It was like pulling nothing. The car the truck never even squat. It's got such a suspension on it. Like I said, it needs a few things here and there as far as more cleaning, tinkering around with it. Nice big glove box. It's a truck and it's a bad one. I mean, it's awesome. If you want to go to navigation, it's got navigation in the whole nine yards. You just get the discs. Telephone. You can store all your phone numbers in there. Do it all right while you're driving. Got a nice key fob with the alarm. Like I said, guys, you're not going to find another one like this. Completely rust free. 100%. For 
motors like a kitten, bolt loads of power. Clean it up some more. Replace that lens right there, it's cracked. All superficial stuff. Not a spot of rust on this truck. Has uh, it was uh, used for a with a fifth wheel and also a camper. It has the extra plug-ins. The uh, bed is rock solid. This is the only hole, other than the holes that are drilled in the bed. It's the only hole where the uh, camper wore through. I'll shut it off and we'll quick I'll crawl underneath it here show you a little bit about what's underneath it cruise everything all right now we're up under the truck let me show you the rocker panels cab corners. If there's anything you want on this, just let me know. I'm going to keep trying to, to uh, focus it. Here is the cab corner. This is the bed of the truck under here. I'm just going to kind of scan it around and keep hitting the focus on it. Like I said, I drove it a thousand miles non-stop and bought it in the Pensacola, Florida area. The owner had it down there and bought it from him. So, like I said, the only red on this truck is the Georgia Clay. See what I'm saying? As you know, everything's red down there. Crimson Tide, I guess you could say transfer case. Let me get a picture of that so you kind of know what it is. Let's see if we can get a good... Hopefully you can read that. I can't because I don't have my glasses on. There you go. Alright. Um, let's do the rocker panels. I have never seen a truck like this that is this clean and as you know that motor in there is good for another 750,000 miles this truck does not we've noticed no drips or leaks with this truck the oil pan. There's that Georgia clay again. Just want you to see that. See that? This falls right off. Crimson Tide. All right. There's another picture of the uh, rocker panel. I know it's hard to do this. If I had it jacked up in the air, it'd be better. But. There you go, guys. I don't think I have to say much more than that. She is one tight truck. Good luck. We'll go to high bidder. So, have a great day.